What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sticks, and I'm back with a work video. Hey, check this out. I've been seeing a lot of creators making work videos and stuff like that, so I figured I go ahead and make a work video too. Let you guys get to see a little bit of what I do at work. So I've been here for a little while. My first year, I was a laborer. I had to prove myself, but I showed up every day. I was on time, stayed late. After that, my second year, they made me a foreman here, which means I run a crew, I'm in charge of that job. Now, I am a production manager, basically. So all I do is go around to these different jobs and make sure that they're coming in on schedule. If not, I'll have to jump out and help them get caught up. You know, they might be a day or something behind waiting for electrician. You know how it is when you're doing construction work. But check this out. All right, so let's hop on this machine right here and take a little tour. But before we do that, look at that. Blazing the fire, jeez. Too hot for a fire, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what some of these guys do. They just play around. Check this out. Yeah, hold on a minute, bro. I'm making a video. We're fucking with me. So, I'll show you right now, hands free. Operating. Operating excavator. Hands free, baby. You can see the big machines and everything. Got a lot of, a lot of heavy equipment. But really, when you tell people landscaping, most of the time they think you cut grass or something. But I do the hardscapes of it. So, like installing patios and retaining walls, things like that, right? I ain't never cut grass a day in my life. Not saying that there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying, for me, that's boring. I like getting into something. I like tearing up people's yards and, uh, and putting them back together way nicer than what they was. So that's the machine I was just on, right? Okay, come on, let's take a little tour. We got the Goofy out there. He He's in the, uh, he's in the Bobcat right now. I don't even know why he's in the Bobcat. I hope he don't hurt himself. He's got a fire going. It's only like 85, 90 degrees out here. So, check this out. This is our shop. This is our shop where we keep all of our tools. We got our concrete saws, everything. If you look over here, we got toolboxes, stuff like that. Cage with all of our stuff so we can fix our trucks. Um, let's see if I can give you a good example here. Has anybody ever cut concrete with one of these? That's what we do sometimes. We'll be, we'll spend whole days cutting concrete out so we can put pavers back in. We got a good selection of pressure washers, stuff like that. Come on, let's take a little trip. So, you see the, you see the big truck. You see, this is an international. It's still considered a single axle though. So you don't need a CDL to drive this truck. All you, all you need is regular license to drive this truck. So, oh, and I think you have to have a, uh, you gotta have your health card, you know, your, um, uh, your DOT card, of course. But, oh, let's see what it is. Drive this baby around for me. The cool thing is, 
I don't have to answer to a boss. I don't have to do none of that unless the jobs start running behind. If the jobs start running behind, we all have somebody to answer to. But I've been doing this so long that I know how to not make my job run behind. Let's take, oh, you got a nice truck, buddy. What's that? Of course, the boss drives a nicer truck than I do, obviously. Let's hear it. Big old diesel. Put this thing back in park. Just trying to give you a little tour of what I do each and every day. Been doing this for a long time. 60, 70 hours a week. Whatever it takes to pay the bills. But yeah what we do um, does anybody know what the yellow what the yellow pipe is for if anybody knows what that yellow pipe is used for put it in the comments I'm not going to tell you if you did any construction work you could tell me here's what we got we keep all of our gas tanks everything like that so we can buy it by the bulk. And then that's where we keep all of our keep all of our straw so we could get seed and straw, people's yards back together. More tools. Check this thing out. We just got. We're about to turn this into a tool locker. Whew, it's hot in here. 70 foot trailer, getting ready to turn it into a tool locker. We got shelves we need to be setting up in here, everything like that. And then pretty soon, everybody will be able to keep their tools in here. We're running out of space. Although, if you're in the Cincinnati, Ohio area, hit me up if you're looking for a job. Because we got more work than we can even handle. Okay, no, let me show you. So, you see these? This is travertine. All these different colors it comes in. I really like this one. It's kind of like tile, but it's like marble. So, that's what we'll lay around swimming pools and stuff. I know as soon as I walk up to this fool, he's gonna be talking my name and everything. I'll be honest on YouTube, man, it's been nothing but love, but you just never know, man, when somebody wants to try you or play with you because you're doing something or not. You know how jealousy is. All right, you can see our, this is a couple trailers we got we got a lot more trailers than this, really, but that's just a few, a couple of them that we got now. To finish this video off, right, let's walk up to this 60-year-old meth addict and see what the, what, what homeboy's got to say. What was you saying? No, nothing's messed up. I was just making a little video. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to bring some kids over because i got to take them in the back anyway. Okay. You see all this big stone right here? We'll cut all this big stone down. And we turn it into steps. Natural steps. And then the littler ones are called steppers. They're the ones you just step on. And then the big six inch is what we cut and make steps. So... As you can see, let's see, let's get it right there. Homeboy's got a fire going everything. All right, man, look. I don't want to hold you guys too long, but just a quick little rundown of what 
my day at work looks like. And here soon I'll make a real work video when I'm at actually at a job site. Right now I'm at the shop just picking up material. But a lot of the time I'm just moving equipment around trying to get the jobs ready for guys. Making sure they have everything for when they get there. And making sure that the job is clean when they leave. Taking progress pictures in between and talk to a customer if I have to, if they have any questions that I can answer. If not, I refer them to my boss, which is the owner of the company, and he'll take care of the rest. But hey, until next time, hold your head and stay out of lockup.